Let's talk about new changes and features in iOS 13.2 Beta 1. 9 to 5 Max Guy Rambo uncovered what looks to be a glyph of the upcoming noise canceling AirPods. What do you think? Do you want AirPods with noise cancellation built in? Announced messages with Siri makes a comeback in 13.2 Beta 1. It was on previous betas. Basically, what this does is it will automatically play back incoming messages when you have your AirPods second generation or certain Beats headphones connected. Now what's really cool about this, not only will it automatically play back your incoming messages, but you can actually carry on a conversation without having to say, hey, you know what? So in your Siri and search settings, you'll find a new announce messages with Siri panel. So you wanna turn that on obviously, but you can also make it so you can reply without confirmation. So you can carry on a conversation like you're talking to someone on the phone almost, except Siri is sort of acting like a middleman to the other person who's talking to you via the messages app. And you can set it up so that it will only announce messages from certain contacts. And what's cool is that you get a nice little soothing tone whenever a new message comes in that's eligible for announced messages with Siri. You kind of have to hear it just to understand what I'm talking about. But this is definitely a cool feature that all second generation AirPods users should be anxious for. In iPadOS 13.2 adds a new home screen and dock preference panel. Now this is basically just an amalgamation of the home screen and layout settings formerly under display and brightness in the multitasking and dock settings which was formerly under the general section of the preferences. In iPadOS 13.2 allows you to close out of apps in the multi-window display when initiating multitasking. And as you might expect you simply swipe up to close that app window. Super simple, super easy. You'll notice a new haptic touch shortcut in the TV app, and you'll find a new combined AirPlay and Handoff preference panel. On previous releases, Handoff was all by itself with just one little lonely toggle inside. But now you'll find a new automatically AirPlay to TVs option inside AirPlay and Handoff. This one's really interesting. Based off of your usage, it can automatically connect to a nearby AirPlay TV that you frequently use. And there's also a new transfer to HomePod toggle. So when playing media on your iPhone, if you bring your iPhone close to the top of the HomePod, it will transfer over to the HomePod, which you currently have playing. We're still awaiting a HomePod update, but hopefully it'll work something like this iOS 13 combined HomeKit accessories with multiple sensors into one tile. But in iOS 13.2, you now have the option to separate those tiles like this. Yeah, that's a whole lot better, don't you think? There's a new research privacy panel that will set up access control to sensor and usage data that's being collected. And you'll notice a slightly tweaked exit animation. Watch it, see how it kind of just a little bit eases out, then completely goes away. That's a new exit animation for the volume HUD. You'll see that the iPhone glyph has been removed from the expanded control center volume controls. And as you can see, it's been replaced by the volume glyph. And speaking of that, there's a slightly larger control center volume glyph in the main control center page. In their slightly altered share and shuffle buttons, they now have backgrounds in the music app. And you can see music app listening history. If you swipe down on the up next panel like this, you can quickly view your history. In the wallpaper settings, you'll see new labels for live photos and perspective zoom when you turn them on or off. And I also noticed this neat new little Apple Pencil glyph in the iPad OS 13.2 preferences. Previously, it used to look like this. And finally, in iOS 13.2, there appear to be app icon spacing changes. You can see the difference here. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? What's your favorite new feature in iOS 13.2 beta one? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.